see I'm using a lot of FDs and you must have probably noticed by now that I'm having this tricky thing with the mount sometimes. Like I explained, it's got that breech lock inside. Um, it's got this little thing that needs to be clicked so that the aperture can move. So the adapter is designed that way to push that little thing across. The annoying thing is, this one here is pretty stiff, um, this adapter. And that's one of the annoying things you'll find when, uh, with the China-made adapters. They are the most affordable, but you really have to test them um, to see whether or not they work with your camera. Like for example, this, where did I put the, yeah. This M42 to NEX adapter works great with my A7R, doesn't fit on my FS100 or the VG20. I have no idea why, because um, it's the same mount, but it's insanely tight on the FS100 and VG20. I can't lock the thing in. I managed to lock it in once, and then I couldn't get the lens out. So I've ordered a bunch of other adapters so that I can find one that fits. That's one of the things I do if I'm buying the adapters on eBay. I won't just buy one because you never know. Like for example, the, yeah. This one here, this is the 85 1.8 and I've got a Fotga adapter on it. This one works. I bought three. Out of the three, one of them didn't work properly at all. The other one, it worked, but I kind of used it for a DIY project that failed. So now I've only got one left. The good news is though, is that these things, when you're buying them on eBay from China, they are dirt cheap. If you buy them from a shop, um, they're marked up quite a bit. The good thing about buying it at a shop though, is that you can test it right then and there. You bring your lenses, you test it out. So if you're gonna buy it off eBay, I would recommend if you're if they're the cheap adapters, buy a bunch, you know. Um, and if you got more than you need, then just save them or sell them to a friend. Uh, earlier, also I mentioned that when the um, Canon 5D revolution started, everyone was staying away from the Canon FD lenses because of that little breech lock thing. Well, there are adapters like this, which I haven't really had a chance to test yet, but this is an adapter to attach Canon FD lenses to uh, an EOS camera, like a 5D. And it's an optical adapter because it has that piece of glass over there. Um, because the distance from the lens to the shutter is a bit longer, so you need that piece of glass to you know, get it on the sensor. Um, you can see some reviews online about it. Results vary because you kind of lose a bit of light and you might get a bit of softness. And I have no idea how to put this thing back on. The hell? Oh, you bastard. Don't embarrass me in front of YouTube. Uh, oh crap, it's the wrong way around. That's embarrassing. So yeah, um, if you are using a 5D though, or an EOS system, most people um, go for Nikon glass. Um, this is a Nikon camera that my friend Adlin passed to me. Um, and here, let's see if I remember how to take off the lens. Is it that button? No. There we go. Um, the good thing about Nikon glass is that in Malaysia, you can find this in secondhand stores everywhere. Like if you check out um, YL, the YL photography store, they have tons of Nikon secondhand glass. I think Malaysians in general bought a lot of Nikon because I find their glass everywhere. I very rarely find the Canon FD glass, which is my preferred glass. Um, that's why I order it all off eBay. Now, I have an adapter for it. Is this? Yeah. AI to NEX. Pump that on. Click that in. Now this is a 3570, 3.5, 5.6. So it's not a fast lens at all, it's a basic kit lens. Um, let's switch that on. So, okay, let me just record this, just to show a little sample. I've raised the ISO because it's a 3.5, 5.6. Um, oops, there we go. So you can see it's a nice glass. Soft a bit right now because it's wide open. Still nice glass though. Let's focus it over here. Sorry about the change in colors. I've just got it on an auto white balance just to make life easier. Oh, for fuck. Okay, you're noticing right now that I'm having a bit of difficulty focusing with this guy. 
And there's a reason for that. Um, and it's also the reason why I don't usually buy Nikon glass. I actually had an 85 1.8 or f2, I can't remember, that I bought. Um, it was a great lens, it was a beautiful lens. But the reason why I'm not a fan of, well, it's not that I'm not a fan. The reason why I don't buy Nikon glass to use regularly is, okay, if you look here, it goes 3.5 to 22 over there. Now if I show you this lens, you see which way the apertures are going? One's going that way, one's going that way. The focus, infinity is all the way over here, over here, infinity is all the way over here. So to focus, it's the opposite direction. Now that bugs the hell out of me. <laughs> um, unfortunately for me, I learned photography on a, like I said, on this Canon AE-1, um, on Canon lenses, and then I had a Canon DSLR. And then when I went to Sony, Sony's also focused the same way as well. So whenever I pick up a Nikon lens, I'm just confused because my instinct is to focus that way to go close. And no, that's to infinity. I have to focus this way to go close. Um, to change the size, I have to go this way, not this way. So that bugs me quite a bit, actually. It's, it's annoying because there's so many of these very good Nikon glass around, but I just can't get over that. It's one of those things where it's like, I mean, call me stupid. It's just one of those things that I just can't get over the difference in the focusing. Because if I'm on a job, I'm shooting something, I don't want to be like, whoops, you know, I'm trying to find the focus and stuff. 